Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and today I'm going to teach you how to enter, track, and pay your bills with the FreshBooks accounting software. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is learn how to add and manage our vendors within FreshBooks. So from our FreshBooks dashboard, we can go to our expenses tab in our left menu bar and this will open what I kind of call our vendor center and so under expenses we have bills vendors and uploads we want to click vendors and this is going to give us a list of all of our vendors so in our little sample company here we just have six vendors listed if you're going to enter a bill you need to first add the vendor so we can come up here and we can click new vendor and in the new vendor screen, most of it's pretty self-explanatory. So we have a company name. If there is a separate, if it is for a business, you have a company name, your contact name, then at the business. If it isn't a company, you can just have the first and last name. Skip the company name, account number, email address, website, phone number, street address. All pretty self-explanatory. Uh, over here, the default currency and language we've set up for this company uh, is US dollars in English, but by clicking on that, you can change those. Uh, tax type, we've, the default is that this is not a 1099 contractor. So if this is somebody um, that you have to issue a 1099 to at the end of the year to report all of your payments, you'll want to change this tax type to yes by clicking this vendor is a 1099 contractor that way FreshBooks will actually track the payments you've made when it's time to make the 1099 at the end of the year it'll easily report it to you it's a very handy uh, feature sales tax type so uh, most companies will not account for sales tax that they pay separately from the expense of the service or product they'll just combine it all into one cost which is fine if for some reason you do want to uh, track your sales tax expense separately from the cost of those underlying items then you need to change this to uh, yes by adding a sales tax for whichever vendors you're going to pay sales tax to so when you click add a sales tax you can put in the information about the taxing authority the tax rate etc but again most companies just account for the sales tax as part of the cost of the service or item that's being purchased okay and so that's how you add a new vendor uh, obviously you'll want to click save I'm just going to cancel out of here and again this brings us to our vendor screen and we can see a list of all the vendors that we have previously set up the next thing we need to deal with is how to enter the unpaid bills themselves in FreshBooks so if we go back to our FreshBooks screen in our vendor section so under expenses in the left menu let's click on bills rather than vendors and then you can see a list of our recently updated bills as well as all of our uh, bills down here so uh, to add a new bill let's click on the big green new bill button and we can either upload a bill um, which would be a PDF of the bill um, even if we upload the PDF we still will have to fill in most of the information manually um, or we can just manually enter the information. Um, so uh, we can, uh, again, most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Click here, choose a uh, vendor from the list you've created. Uh, the issue date, the due date, um, if you want to give them a bill number, you can do that. Here you can add a line. Um, description and a category would be uh, the expense category you want to classify. Uh, this bill under um, good so uh, that's pretty self-explanatory um, again you can so th the default in this bill settings for currency and language should be whatever you set up when we just created the vendor however if you want this particular bill to be different you could adjust that here um, if you haven't already uploaded the bill, if you would like to, you could upload it at this time by selecting a file or clicking and dragging it here. Excellent idea to attach your bills um, if you're ever in an IRS audit or another situation where you need to verify the accuracy of an expense. Very easy to do so um, by clicking on the expense in FreshBooks and you'll have a copy of the expense attached. So that's how you actually enter the unpaid bill. So remember here, here we haven't paid the bill yet. We've only entered the bill as an unpaid bill. So the next task we need to complete is to view our unpaid bills. 
So obviously we need to view, see what needs to be paid before we actually issue payments. So let's flip over to our fresh books. Um, now we're still in the bill screen where we created our bill, but now we see we have two options here. We have $1,200 of overdue bills and $2,050 of total outstanding bills. So these would be unpaid bills. So if we click on that $2,050, it's going to bring up our two individual bills that comprise that amount. So we can see one to our automobile insurance company for $850 is unpaid and that is due in 12 days. And we can see a bill to our accounting firm uh, was due a month ago, so it is overdue. Okay, so that's how we can view our outstanding bills. We can click over here just to overdue if all we're interested in viewing is our overdue bills. And then that shows just the one bill that's overdue. Okay, another way to view our uh, unpaid bills is through an accounts payable aging report. So I'm going to go over here to our left tab and click reports. And down here, I'm going to click on our accounts payable aging. And there again is our $2,050 worth of outstanding bills. But this is classified in an aging table. So we have a different column um, based on how long the accounts payable is overdue. So here we have um, shows our accounting firm that bill is between 31 and 60 days overdue whereas our automobile insurance bill that's actually not overdue yet is simply outstanding. So this is very helpful when you're short on cash you have a lot of outstanding bills this can classify them to show you exactly which ones are the most outstanding so you can perhaps prioritize payments of those. So hopefully you don't get in that situation but obviously sometimes cash flow isn't what you want it to be. Accounts payable aging report is very useful in, uh, de in deciding which um, bills to pay. So the next item I need to show you is how to actually record the payment of the bill in FreshBooks. So again, let's flip over to our FreshBooks screen and let's go back to our dashboard. So click the back over here with reports, dashboard. Okay, so let's go to our expenses and we're gonna wanna view our bills. So click on bills. Now find the bill however you would like. If you scroll down a little bit, you can get a list of all uh, all bills. Um, you can sort them by vendor then since you're wanting to pay a particular bill, you probably know which vendor you want to pay. Um, so you can easily do that. Um, so let's find the bill we want to pay. Let's say we want to pay our uh, accounting firm. So let's uh, click on that bill. And up here under more actions, we can say add a payment. Okay, and so it brings up the $1,200. Let's say we're just going to pay it with a check um, and today, and we'll hit add payment. Okay, now if we scroll down below the bill, it's going to show us that we made a payment on this bill of $1,200. Now notice if we had wanted to short pay it, meaning we don't pay the full amount, say we only wanted to pay $1,000, we certainly could have done that, right? In that field that, that opened up when we added the payment, we could have said 1,000 instead of 1,200. So that is a nice feature of FreshBooks. Um, you can short pay your bills. And so there we go, we, we recorded the payment of the bill from our accounting firm. So if we flip back now to our bills page, you can now see we don't have anything overdue because we paid the one bill we had overdue. And if you look down here, the accounting firm bill now shows as being paid. So we've recorded the payment on that bill. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to edit the bills once you've entered them in FreshBooks. So let's go ahead and click back to our FreshBooks screen. And we're in our bills screen. And so we can see all of the bills. If you want to edit a bill, you can go in here, find the bill. Um, let's edit this unpaid bill of $850. If we just click anywhere in here, it's going to open the bill. Now we can't edit it directly from here. We're going to have to hit the edit button. And now it's pulled up the same screen as when we originally entered it. So we can edit any of this information that we like. Okay, and that's it. That's paying your bills with FreshBooks. I hope you found this useful. This was one of five tutorials we have on FreshBooks from Fit Small Business. I'll provide a link in the description below that'll take you to the home page for all five of those free FreshBooks tutorials. Um, and again, my name was Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and I hope you found this useful.